हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन यूजर फंक्शन इन सी टू कंपेयर गिवन स्ट्रिंग्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू राइट अ सी प्रोग्राम टू कंपेयर टू गिवन स्ट्रिंग्स यूजिंग देयर ओन फंक्शन विदाउट यूजिंग एस टी आर सी एम पी दैट इज द लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन नाउ एस टी आर सी एम पी इज अ लाइब्ररी फंक्शन टू कंपेयर टू स्ट्रिंग्स फर्स्ट वील सी वॉट इज द सिंटैक्स और प्रोटोटाइप सो हियर सिंटैक्स फॉर एस टी आर सी एम पी इज इंटीजर एस टी आर सी एम पी एज इट इज अ इंटीजर इट इज रिटर्निंग वैल्यू इंटीजर वैल्यू सो इट इज अ इंटीजर फंक्शन एंड हियर इट इज गिविंग अ कैरेक्टर पॉइंटर एस टी आर वन एंड कैरेक्टर पॉइंटर एस टी आर टू सो दीज टू स्ट्रिंग्स आर कंपेयर एस टी आर वन एंड एस टी आर टू सो वन मोर थिंग इन दिस केस इज एस टी आर सी एम पी फंक्शन इज केस सेंसिटिव दैट इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैपिटल ए एंड स्मॉल ए आर ट्रीटेड डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर्स दे आर नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज अ सेम कैरेक्टर सो एज आई सेड एस टी आर सी एम पी फंक्शन इन सी कंपेर्स टू गिवन स्ट्रिंग एंड रिटर्न जीरो इफ दे आर सेम एंड इफ लेंथ ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वन इज लेक्स दैन स्ट्रिंग टू देन इट विल रिटर्न द वैल्यू विच इज लेस दैन जीरो एंड इफ लेंथ ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वन इज ग्रेटर दैन स्ट्रिंग टू देन इट विल रिटर्न द वैल्यू विच इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो so in this program we'll see first using the library function so in this program two strings will be compared and zero will be written when strings are equal and negative value when first string is smaller and positive value when string first is greater than second one now how it happens we'll see in this using the library function this is stdio.h that is the standard then we दिस इज एस टी डी आई ओ डॉट एच दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड देन वी आर इंक्लूडिंग एस स्ट्रिंग डॉट एच फॉर यूजिंग दिस एस टी आर सी एम पी लाइब्ररी फंक्शन सो इन द इंटीजर मेन वी आर डिक्लेरिंग फर्स्ट एस टी आर वन एज अ फ्रेश इन द डबल कोड देन सेकेंड स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर टू एज अ रिफ्रेश नो इंटीजर आई जे के इट विल गिव सम डिफरेंट वैल्यूज एज पर अवर कंपेरिजन i is equal to str cmp str1 it will be compared with the fresh in the j the value is indicating when str1 comparing with str2 that is fresh comparing with refresh and k that is comparing str1 to a single character f and then we'll print i j k value so in the first case i i is comparing fresh with fresh so it is giving the value 0 in the second j str1 that is fresh is comparing with refresh so it is giving the value minus 1 and in the third case str1 is comparing with a single character f so our fresh is more characters than single f so it is a positive one so this is the library function str cmp for the comparing two strings now without library function we have to write a program now what is the logic for this we'll create a user function to compare two given string now we'll scan one by one characters of same position in the source string array and target string source string means first string str1 to second string str2 now if any character is not matching from source to target string then it will be returning 1 if matching it will return 0 if return value is 1 both strings are not matching and zero value is there then the string is same in both array now in the memory position we'll see that source string is there and distinction string is there 
source array s1 s2 s3 s4 like this it is shown and destination array d it is having d1 d2 and here i took the example of fresh in the source and fresh in the destination so it give it should give the answer zero that is both strings are matching so how that happens now first string uh, character in the string s and first character in the string d they will be compared to each other then it will go to the second position if they are matching it will go to the second position then they will check second position of s and second position of d if they are matching it will go to the next like this they are checking all the characters one by one to that particular same position of the destination and when they are getting null value they will stop the comparing both string <coughs> and both strings are matching as same array position the characters will be all matching so it is a same string we'll see our own write up of the function that is for string comparison now in this case we are declared character string 1 and string 2 array of 1550 integer i temporary is equal to 0 here we will getting the first string with the help of get s string and then second string with the help of get s string 2 then you can see here for loop is there and string position will check one by one so if string 1 of first position of is equal to equal to string of 2 of the same position means if it is having string 1 of 0 and string 2 of 0 both are same temporary is equal to 0 else it will be 1 like this and the for loop will complete for the total string and then if out of that for loop will compare check that temporary is equal to 0 then both strings are same if it is false then we'll print that both strings are not same so here we are taken one example that enter the string 1 value is fresh and enter the string 2 value is refresh so they are different string so it both strings will be not same now same <coughs> we will compare the string without str cmp but here we are using the function so here main program is written that we have declared the character a and character b that is the array of character a and character b and then input a string for a with the get s then input a string with get s b compare both strings this will be our function a comma b we are supplying a and b and then we are writing the result so the function will be call here so we are going to the function integer compare string which is here also declared and here call and here it is a implemented or written integer <coughs> compare string str uh, character a and character b that is the string a and string b so integer see it is it will be the counter or indexing while a of c is equal to equal to b of c and they have not reached up to the null character we will compare all this and once we are reaching to the null character it will be print up till that we will increment that c++ so if we are reaching to the null character it will be return 0 else it will be giving 1 so here both strings are welcome and welcome it will be equal string now 
check this program and then pause the video and write down the function to compare a string using pointers for given this main program here i have declared the function integer compare underscore string with the pointer two pointers so send destination or string one or string two then it is declared here we are taking both values here input a string get as first input a string get second then we'll write the result is equal to by calling the function compare underscore string and we are supplying first and second string which we are having to compare if result is equal to zero they are same and else they are different so this is the solution for you this is a function written here integer compare string so first and second which we are getting from the main then while pointer content of that pointer first and content of that pointer second if both are equal that is the characters are equal and it is not a null up to null it will be run this while program and it will be incremented the pointer of first incremented pointer of second and once it is finished and we are reaching to the null value then it is going to return zero if not then it is returning one so anywhere the comparison is not matching then it will become out and it is not giving the value of null and so it is returning minus value references thank you